Yes. I beg your pardon. <laughs> okay, Oscar. Wait, 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 wait. Again, from the beginning. Kaikki ovat kuolleet. By the righteous path that I. I mean, the guild master must learn of this at once. And wait, what did you say these assassins look like? En haluaisi olla rasisti, mutta itämaiselta. Oh. Was their armor all black? And did they speak a language that sounded like gibberish to you? <laughs> Petrified by Malthus. Well, this this is worse than I expected. Uh, yeah, as if. I don't like your tone. But if your life depends on it, no, it wasn't. And yes, I was afraid something might happen, but nothing like this. And the entire caravan murdered. By the seven, this is bad. The hired killers, the best of their kind. Have you never heard of them? Mm -mm. Well, apparently their temple, as they call it, or their headquarters, is on a small island called Milea, a deserted city. But now interested. it's not the time for history lessons. Whoever has enough money to hire the petrified is dangerous. Very dangerous. <clears throat> As I said, Guildmaster Delora needs to learn about this. Did you find anything on the corpses? The documents, perhaps? Rodos' <laughs> amulet. Oh, by Malphus. Doloran will not like this. Give it to me. The guildmaster will want to have it. Uh, give me back that letter. Well, we have to make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Is that so? Well, fair enough. I think the circumstances are a good enough excuse. Here, take this. It's a paycheck, and you can hand it in at the bank. Hmm. Now, excuse oh, me. Check, yeah. <laughs> I have to make some arrangements. Oh, by the seven, this is not going to be pleasant. No need. One hour, give us a good Lisa. Yeah, as if. You're an outlander, aren't you? I can tell. Hello. How may I be of serve? Penny pouches. So that old man found himself a new errand boy, did he? <laughs> Show me. Mm, yes, this looks solid indeed. Here is your money. Kolmes taaviis kymppiä. Edelleenkin sijoittamattomia pisteitä. Maksimäniä saisi ehkä halvalla nostettua. Tää, no, halvalla ja halvalla. Kahteen oh, viiteen asti siis. Oh, you're not from around here, are you? I know that accent. Mielenkiintoinen. <laughs> niin, sukunimitoma. Yes. Of course. Varkailukirjaa.
Ah. Täytyy mennä toi apprenticeen kirja takaisin. Mä niin paljon ammun jousella, että niinku, kyllä mun kannattaa ihan oikeesti niinku... Slate of Handy. Mä menin postamaan ihan väärän kirjan. Of course. No se nostettiin pari pistä. Of course. Niin kun mä menin vaan ensimmäisen, <laughs> ensimmäisen kirjan. Ai se on 150 toi. Eikö tää on Light Armor? 155. Tää on huomattavasti kalliimpi tää kirja. Eiks mulla on mitään mitä vois... ...myydä. Panssit, tota, tota mä en rupee myymään. Tämä voisin hajottaa itseasiassa, että vois ton en enchantmentin tehdä myöhemmin. Tämä ihan hirveästi mukana, edelleenkin. Mä oon vaan niinku ilmeisesti rohmannut kaikki mukaan. Someone who's actually interested in us as people, rather than in our knowledge about the Pyreans. But, it's your lucky day. I really wouldn't mind a good talk right now. Hold on a second. Arizalian Brandy. Vintage 8214. What do you say? A glass and a good talk? There are a couple of things I wanted to ask you anyway. All right then. When I hear you say that, I don't regret for a second that I never came back to Ostian. Even though I've thought about it from time to time. Wow. 
Finally, someone who says it up front. Yeah, I've got some Scarag blood in me, though comparably little in regards to how much it shows. My grandfather, he used to serve in the South Realm's Marines. And one day they captured a ship of Scarag raiders, some of them women. Stories say he fell in love with one of them and... Yeah, you can connect the dots. But to answer your original question, yes, I'm from Ostian. Though we fled the city around ten years ago. The right choice, as I probably don't need to tell you. The temple was always a bunch of fanatical fuckheads, but that <laughs> bastard High Priest Janus gave the word butcher an entirely new meaning. I know, and nah, I hardly know anything about her. Only that they were raiders, and that she fled about two years after giving birth to me. Poor Grandpa. You should have seen how people reacted to the way I looked. Even as a kid, they always looked at me in my almond-shaped eyes as if they were expecting me to pull out a skull fetish any second and start putting curses on anyone in the vicinity. Maybe. Warriors of the Creator. War against the infidels. The Creator's children don't even sugarcoat how radical their faith is anymore. And still, so many people join their ranks. It's fucking insane. But then again, I guess that's religion for you. Don't think for yourself anymore. Let someone else do it for you. At least it was for my brother. Oh, Billy. I had. He was about 15 years older than me, and was always a troubled child. Rakul. That was his name. You know, my family was very wealthy before we fled. Drapers for generations. The best in Ostian. I suppose that's why my father expected so much from Rakul, since I, as a woman, wouldn't have been allowed to take over the business when my father would have retired. But Rakul, he just wasn't made out for it, you know? He was shy and introverted and never had a hand for money. I can't remember how often father told him that he was a disgrace to the family. You can call it that, yes. Looking back, I think the temple only gave him what father wouldn't. A perspective. The feeling of being needed. He spent almost all of his time in the temple after his conversion and knew the entire Rania, their holy scripture, by heart. Well, in one day, he announced that simply attending the masses wasn't enough anymore. He would join the temple's warriors. Damn right. That's what these bastards do. They exploit the vulnerability of people like him and indoctrinate them with their fucking bullshit. And once that's done, they send them to fight for their holy causes. In other words, their own interests, like pawns on a chessboard. And if they die, then they call it a fucking honor. I'm sorry, my dame. Your youngest son just died. But don't worry, he's in a better place now, eating grapes and drinking honey. What solace, isn't it? Now, do you have any other neglected children for us? We're running short on material. Damn it, I hate those bastards. I just hate them so much. He was slaughtered, hacked into pieces by Chancellor Baratheon's cavalry. That was before the peace treaty. I'd be surprised if they taught him what end of a lance to stab with before they sent him into the field. But, well, I guess that answers the question you asked me up in the temple, doesn't it? I was sick of seeing people using religion for their own ends. <laughs> Creator, Lightborn, the Great Spirit. Same shit, different name. And you know what? No matter how much chaos the death of the gods caused, I don't regret being a part of it, not in the least. It was the right thing to do. Anyway, I'd say we call it quits for now, okay? It was good talking to you, but I'm dying for a nap. Take care. Keep walking. 
Aatelisten tavarinaan päädyttiin. Ai on tämä, tämä näin. Tässä näin. Tietenkin missä siellä on, mutta... Mä en vielä voi sanoa, että tämä peli olisi hirveän uskontovastainen sinänsä, sinänsä vaan niin kuin, ää, se vähän ehkä jyrkkiä mielipiteitä joilla, joillakin hahmoilla. Toisaalta niin pelaaja, pelaaja tulee periaatteessa, niin pelihahmo tulee liittymään noiden yes. hengelliseen veljeskuntaan, niin siinä mielessä. Ylipäätään mitä enemmän niin kuin, pelin kehittäjät jotain tiettyä aihetta tukee ja saarnaa sen puolesta, niin sitä, enem, sitä vähemmän ne ottaa huomioon muita, muita näkökulmia. Tässä nyt dialogi pyrkii antamaan sulle useamman vaihtoehdon. Tosin tuossa oli ehkä vähän paremmin kirjoitettuja osa vaihtoehdoista. Eli. Okei, tolle pitää... Uh, who are you? <laughs> Näin vieläkään tiedä kuka mä oon. Uh, toi aloittaa sen... Mä voisin sen palauttaa sen tehtävän. Niin. Nyt viimeinkin. Ai jes, pari pitäis tavata. Magister Ragon. Missähän se on? Se ei nyt ollut tuolla noin. Kro kronikumia. Okei, okay, se oli vain yksi noista. Yks noista ovista. Tänäkin tonne näyttää. Upsta. Sanktumi. Who are you? Miks tää se kronikumi sitten? On. Vanha peli pitää muistaa sun nämisen hahmot. What? Ha! Huh? Impressive weapon you carry there. It must be ancient, am I right? What? This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Yes. One day, Naya. Yes, that just One might day. work. Constantine. Cesar, Oh, you're here. I thought you were in the city. No, the Archmagister ordered me back. Walk blessed. Good to be here, to be honest. The funeral. Yeah, this just doesn't make what any sense. Done without them, Why can't it ever be easy? I still can't believe that really happened. Brother Yarrow, he was such a good man. Pathlessness. I don't think the Red look. Madness cares Where much about that. Where is this supposed to Probably lead? Probably not. No. I wonder how it happens. The infection. What do you mean? Well, the red eyes and the obvious madness only happen in the last stages of the disease. But what happens before that? I hope he knows what, what he's doing. How can what? one tell someone else is afflicted? Why? Scared you've caught it, are you? That is not funny. You should not give him a little. Mm. 
Nope. Uh. Hetkinen, toi, toi nuoli osoittaa tonne. Greetings. Hmm. Well then, I am Taurus Flameling, apothecarius by my part. My companion and I work together with the Arcanists here, and we investigate the Red Madness. With all due respect to your thirst for knowledge, I am not a Magister, and I've got my hands full. In a nutshell, we are healers, and our path is to cure ailments with magic and alchemy. Our monastery is far to the north, in the frost of okay. mountains. However, you won't be able to reach it at the moment due to the heavy snowfall. And in case that doesn't sate your appetite, there are a couple of books about us in the library, or maybe even the Chronicle. Finn and Carbos, of course. Who doesn't know them? They're not duo and completely inseparable. Why do you ask? What? How? How do you know that? <sighs> My Malthus, that's... I... One tragic event after another. Now listen. This question might seem peculiar. But... Is there any chance you found amulets on them? The emblems of the Apothecary. It's a ritual. Whenever one of our members passes away, their amulet will be put in soldiers' halls, as remembrance, so to speak. They are silver, with a violet jewel. Have you found them? Damn it. We can't even pay them their last respects. Oh. Well, thank you for the message anyway, even if it's a grim one. I'll send my the pigeon with the news to the League as soon as possible. Aside from the obvious, not much, unfortunately. The most important thing to know is that it's extremely hard to determine if someone is infected with it. Afflicted people show their open madness quite late, and at that point, it's usually too late already. Walk best. Okay, opitti, opitti sen tai jotain uutta. Taas pikku tehtävä. Ah, oikein misti ja muu. Asen varasto. This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong here. Just a typey pallo leitele. Ah, täällä tiivo. Outlander, what are you doing in this part of the city? Shouldn't you be, uh, I don't know, somewhere else? Oni, see it, see that in the morning, Mato. Walk blessed. Uh, um, <clears throat> of, of course, uh, sister. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh, Yero, you damned old fool. I... I guess I should be lenient with her. Here, I think I owe you this for your time. Now, excuse me. We have a lot to do here. Noni. Walk blessed, prophetess. It is time. Come forward, prophetess. 
profeta. I know what you are feeling. Mistrust. For it is the first time in the history of the order that a stranger will receive the holy consecration. You consider it a treason against our charter and therefore against us all. And indeed, it is true that traditions have strengthened the order. We have ruled this land for millennia, and for millennia we have prevailed. And I know that what happened two years ago has unsettled you. Yes, we are in a crisis. Yes, our foundation seems to be shattered. And now you believe that I profane even what little is left by consecrating a pathless one. It was always people who have given strength to the order. People like you and me. Yes, we did serve the Lightborn, but because they embodied an idea. The idea of peace through stability. And even now, after their demise, we will pursue this idea. We are facing a threat that endangers the world as we know it. And to fight it, we need one thing above all others. The readiness to make sacrifices for the greater good. This woman, like Novice Sakaresh, has shown this readiness. She is talented and has a gift, and thus carries responsibility. But instead of running from this responsibility, she faced it, found us. She passed the holy trial just as we all did, and therefore she is worthy of joining our ranks. Consecrated ones, repeat my words. This is the day when my old me dies away. For today, I receive the sigil. This is the day when my old me dies away. For today, I receive the sigil. From now on, I live to protect, by sword and mind, the path, my land, and those who are without strength. From now on, I live to protect, by sword and mind, the path, my land, and those who are without strength. Until death absolves me from my duty. Until death absolves me from my duty. Thus, you are elevated to keepers of the first sigil. Rise. Now let us all recite the holy words. Thou art my light, my glimmer at the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament, and thy path I will honor in life as in death. May your light guide me. Leave now, brothers and sisters, and rest. We will need our strength. Hmm. Go and get your armor at the Temple's Forge. After that, meet me in the Emporium. There's news. Ranks. After a novice has passed the trial, he is raised into the first sigil. And over the course of years, if he proves to be worthy, into higher ranks, up to the fourth sigil, which is held by the Truchessa and the Grandmaster, me. Of the first sigil, yes. Our masters will teach you, our smiths will equip you. That is all that I wanted. Walk blessed. I'm just... Uh, never mind. Did you hear about it? Sakuresh passed the trial. She has been consecrated to the first sigil. Oh, did she now? 
Good for her. Dunmore would have been <laughs> If I hadn't been anchored, got that Lucia. Well, who am I to question Malfs as well? Sigil Barra Batarsville, you mean? Y you shouldn't say something like that. Did I say something? Anyway, I have to go. The Archmagister needs help with something. Malfa's blessings, brother. Malfa's blessing? Huh. You're the one that called the prophetess, right? Congratulations on passing the trial, I, I guess. Huh. You're the one they call the prophet, aren't you? <laughs> prophet. Congratulations yeah. on passing the trial. I guess. In my mind, I'm not so cool. No niin, saadaan sen tää uus panssari. Map. Ah, right. The highly debated new keeper. You suddenly have caused some uproar. I'll give you that. So, robes, mail or plate? go and no matter what you think of all this wearing this armor is an honor get that into your head most of us had to wait decades for it sure you'll have to pay normally though as much as the grandmaster favors you metal and work don't come for free Tämä on ihan hyvä, vaikka kaikki hyvin raskas. Okei, niin täältä itse asiassa ilmatteeksi saa näkyään panssarin. Pitkä miekka on se, ja tää ei ole vielä paranneltu edes. 17. What? Okay. Down Ihan Kohtuuline. Tangla Paras, Ed Thomas Tanaka. Blessed. Though, as much as the Grandmaster favors you, metal and work don't come for free. Okei, eli se on paranneltuna tää miakka. On, on niinku saman, saman kuin toi järjest, järjestön tää niinku pitkä miakka. As much as the Grandmaster favors you, metal and work don't come for free. Okei, kiipperin pitkä miakka on huono.
Okei, okay. katoinko mä väärää vahingossa äsken. to pay normally though as much as the grandmaster favors you metal and work don't come for free okay mä jotenkin taisin kattoa väärin sitten mä katon great swordin statteja varmaan tässä näin Yhdeksän vahinko. Elite Bow of the Third Signet. Kaks tonnia! On siinä kyllä vahinkoakin sitten Oho. tietysti. Viistoista. Blessed. Malfas's Blessings. Saatan ehkä sortua jossain vaiheessa varastelemaan, mutta toivottavasti se ei haittaa näitä. Kyllä se tietysti haittaa. Kun on metapelaina, mä olisin varmasti niinku... Mieluummin ehkä niin kuin ottanut sen raskaan panssariin ja... Teräs miekka, mm. mutta... Tän ihan kiva tää setti, mutta se on vaan sairaan rumaa. Jasperi pitäisi nähdä. Tuo varmaan tosi iloinen siitä, että on, on niinku liittynyt tonne temppeliin. Jos mulla on tää päällä, näyttäisikö se Vynruutin paikat? Olisiko se iltaan päin menossa? What is this important? Walk blessed. What? Huh? What? Oh, hello. 
You're the companion of that mercenary, aren't you? Dalveric, or whatever his name is. I don't want to be disrespectful, but are times so bad that the order needs to resort to hiring mercenaries? No one nyt tätä laukea aika käydä sen Jasperin luona. Thou art my light, my glimmer at the horizon. Mitä halti oli ihan hauska. Siinä on varmaan ongelmat sen kompanionin tehtävä on ihan sairaan vaikealla alueella. Tosi mua kiinnostas kyllä siellä laiva raunissa käydä. My Dame Deluna. And I fell for it. Well, seems the Grandmaster is crazy. Just sit on their asses and. Yes. Okay, he's on to to all around now. Or is he meant to be higher up on the mountain? Yes. Toisaalta jos noita veljeskunnan jäseniä kuolee, niin niiden panssarien palautuksesta muuten saisi ihan hyvät rahat. Täytyisi vaan odottaa ihan hirveän kauan, että tuo pankki rupeaa tuottamaan, tuottamaan voittoa. Niin. Obulus, my dame, please. The Lord would be doing your kindness. Good evening. Oh. Thank you. You truly are a good person. No, tuli luvattu että olen kaikkien heikkojen puolella. Kaikkien janoisten sankari. Kari Grandi. Watch yourself. The streets are unsafe this time of day. Hello. Ahoy. Ah, there you are. Glad you made it. So, how was it? I heard quite some stories about this trial, and was never sure what to make of it. Sorry, I got spudlusta. Yeah, I changed my mind. Let's go upstairs. It'll be worth it. So, wine or pipe? Termitralian brandy, vintage 8190. A real treasure. 
Consider it a congratulatory gift for passing the trial. <sighs> Nothing better than a good pipe and a nice sight to go along with it. It's always sad to see how few people can truly appreciate these things. Anyway, tell me, fair lady, what is it that drives you? I've been asking that myself since we met. I mean, it's not like anyone's forcing you to play errand boy for a Renfield, is there? Mm. And with your abilities, you can make a fortune in the Renfield. Not to mention the danger you put yourself in. Securing the excavation site, passing the trial, they certainly haven't been easy on you so far. Hmm, makes sense. In any case, it's interesting to see how you've gotten from being a magically gifted refugee to the center of all this. Kind of reminds me of a woman I used to travel with. Alicia. No matter where she went, she always ended up in the eye of the storm. We got hired for the same job. Usually I work better on my own, but this partnership was refreshing in every aspect. It felt good to know someone's got your back for a change. Especially with the kind of work I do. Which is why we decided to stick together after that first job. And it went great. At least initially. She just Mutta. cared too much, you know? Yeah, she was a mercenary, but she only ever picked the jobs where she thought she could help people. Or at least do no damage. As you can imagine, that doesn't always work out in my profession. And whenever it didn't, she really took it to heart. It was sad, if you think about it, really. We traveled together, and we had sex, so yes, according to most people's definition of it, we were a couple. Oh, several reasons. First of all, she was primarily a traveling healer, and used the money she got from those jobs to sustain herself. Secondly, Lysia wasn't all selflessness. She wanted to help people, yeah, but she also wanted to make experiences, I guess. Live like an eagle, love like a madman, and dream like a god. A bit cheesy. Then he yeah. like some of like cool. Yes, but. That was the cover you got. That was. Ela hit kissa. About three years. Yeah, we went to Arazil, Kira, Arkwend. And one time we even fought a group of petrified on the lay. <laughs> she fought as ardently as she lived. I don't know how I would have survived that fight without her. Well, we were simply too different. I, I, I guess that's what it comes down to. Let's face it, I, I'm a pathetic white knight. And an even worse world savior. Lysia and I, we were just bound to clash. We were lovers, then friends, then lovers again, and so on and so forth. <laughs> on off, sorta. Ultimately, that was just too much for me. Too extreme. Too absorbing. Love as she defined it, yeah. Had it been for her, we would have married after that first night. That's, uh... Long story. Not one that puts me in a favorable light. At least if you're like most people. Let's save that for another time. Split up. Yeah, that's one way to put it. But anyway. Enough about me. What about you? Has there ever been someone in your life? Or have you always been the lone wolf? Just wait to tell me on the None of your business. Oh my, is that how you think of me? It's but likes that. Can't two good looking adventurers have a nice chat on a beautiful evening without implications? Hey. <laughs> but jokes aside, I think I know what you're trying to say. And as attractive as you are, I'm afraid I have to pass. Uh -huh. Samara? No, I I don't know. Maybe the entire thing with Lysia was enough for me. 
Sex is fine, but I guess I'm just not naive enough for anything else anymore. Love, love, love. People have such lofty expectations these days, really. Sometimes I think it would help us all to admit that there isn't that much that separates us from the apes. You say what's on your mind, I'll give you that. But as attractive as you are, I... It just wouldn't feel right. I don't know why. Now, come on. Let's not make this unnecessarily awkward, shall we? We're here, and we're having a good talk. Isn't that enough for the moment? Why don't you tell me a little more about this trial? I heard you passed it together with that quiet girl, Kalia. What's she like? I've heard some stories about her. Hmm. That's just life, I think. There comes a point when you've done all you can. My, my. We've certainly lost track of time, haven't we? I really need to hit the hay for a couple hours now. I'll have to go look for some new work tomorrow. And I've heard about a nobleman who's looking for a sellsword. That is, if a Renthiel or old Bushybeard doesn't have a new job for me by then. <laughs> Say what you want about him. The pay is them. beyond generous. I'll see you around, fair lady. No, I guess on this time I thought I'd need to clear that though. Menee vähän hitaammin nää suhteet tässä pelissä kuin monessa niinku tämmössä kaupallissa. Mä oon vaan säästellyt niitä teleporttauskrolleja jatkuvasti. Hello. I hope <coughs> the new turnips come soon. Oi, you there. The, don't look at me like that. Madame? Vartiosto, vartiosto harjoittelupaikka. Tässä melkein etsiä se, joka ottaa, ostaa varastettua varaa. Watch yourself. The streets aren't safe this time of the day. Yes. Yes, it is. Master Tyrus, my foster father. He was half Kyranian, as you might have guessed already. Some words just stuck around. Okay. 
sitten tehnyt inimpää kommenttia tähän. Että... Ja. Kävit sitten sisällä. What a surprise. <sighs> of course they have. You know how these bureaucrats are. But they will do it. Very good. Thanks for your efforts, my friend. Don't mention it. I... I just hope you know what you're doing. You know, many see the course the Order has taken since you came back as disquieting. Narazul's mages in the temple, an outlander as a keeper. <sighs> it's what last? I know, Jorik. But someone has to deal with the threat. And if we don't, no one will. Hmm, yes. I suppose you're right. Koska antoi äänestä tää uloston johtajan tästä organisaatiosta. Tää palatsi vallan kumostuneen. Prophetess, did you find your way around? Good. It is important that you get adjusted to this place. It will be the base of all operations to come. Right now, we are still in the dark as to the true nature of this cycle. All we have are fragments, but we will change that. There are two trails we have found. I want you to go after both of them. Hmm, The first one has to do with the stone fragments from Old Rashengrad. Pegast has not yet told you, but all of them together form a so-called sigil stone, which we urgently need. Uh -huh. The arcanists have already put it together, but we still lack a part of the ritual to activate it. And for that, we need the memory of a dead person. What? The second trail revolves around a discovery we made in the heartland. It could be a significant, if not the only, prospect we have in this fight. Where do you want to start? Hmm. It's simple. I've told you that the Pyrians knew about the cycle, and that they too battled it before they vanished. The Sigil Stone was a magical defense they created to protect themselves from the Red Madness. Uh -huh. Through small fragments that segregate once a certain ritual is performed on it. Wear one of these fragments and it will serve you like a shield for your spirit. The stone won't produce enough for all citizens of Ark, but enough for all of us keepers and the guard. The problem is that we lack knowledge about this ritual, and those who have it have been dead for millennia. Uh -huh. Correct. The entire plan revolves around a discovery which is exhibited in the Chronicum. The frozen corpse of a Pyrian, which a fisherman found adrift in the Northern Sea some years ago. Yes, the ice prevented his body from decaying. But go to the Chronicum and speak to Archmagister Marigil. He will be able to explain it better than I can. raidata tämän paikan jo. Mutta joo, mielenkiintoista, että kaikki hyvin suunnitelmiin kuuluu pikkasen nekromantia. <köhön> no joo. Mut mielenkiintoista, kukaan kauan toi pysyy Mielestä. oikeasti tämän organisaation johtajana. Siihen ollaan tyytymättömiä ja näin ei usko oikeasti siihen uhkaan, koska miksikään se ei.
Yes. Ha! Huh. Impressive weapon you carry there. It must... Oh, hey. Hmm? So what's so spectacular about this? To me, our pal here looks like your average crypt corpse. Well, he isn't. Do you see this marking on his forehead? That's a symbol of the Ischian, one of the two priest castes who reigned over the Pyrian Empire like the Lightborn did over Vin. He was no high priest, but more than an acolyte. Let's just hope he participated in the manufacture of the Sigil Stone back in the Pyrian era. Well, hoping can't hurt. But look, we have company. Dalvarek, Archmagister, how's the situation? Walk blessed, Grandmaster. We're fine. Uh, everything is ready. So this is her? Yes, this is the Prophetess. Hmm. Interesting. Truly interesting. I imagined you to be... different. I'm Lexiel Merigil, Archmagister of the Holy Order. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So, where do we start? Has the Grandmaster already informed you of the goal of this mission? Correct. Now you're wondering, how will this be possible? This is where the Word of the Dead comes into play. An old relic we'll need to find. Uh-huh. The Word of the Dead? I thought that was a legend. No, it exists. And we also know where. Just so you understand, the Word of the Dead is an artifact that allows entering a deceased person's mind to relive his last memories as if they were your own. Nice. And you want to do just that with our frozen pal here? This is the grand plan, right? Right. You'll need to locate the Word of the Dead, teleport the Pyrian's body to you, and then enter his thoughts. And there you'll have to look for the words <laughs> okay. of the ritual. Well, we only lack the last words of this ritual. What you have to look for is an ornamental scroll, which looks just like the one on the drawing I'll give you in a moment. All you have to do is remember the glyphs and the scroll, then write them down once you're back in the waking world. True, but we're talking about a different form of magic. It works similarly to the forbidden school of entropy. <sighs> you're telling me. I myself feel like a myriad in a toad's pond. But alternatively, we'd have to excavate every ruin on Vin and hope that some priest left one of the scrolls behind. That's right, but the priest himself did. And according to the legend, this should allow you to understand. Mm -hmm. Well, this is... There's an old manor in Andral's West that belongs to an old collector of artifacts. We received a tip that the word of the dead is in his possession. Hang on. Are you talking about this odd fellow with the puppets? The aged man from the folk zone? I am. You won't take it. It will be enough to find it. Use it on the Pyrian, and then leave. You will travel to the manor with Dalvarek, wait for nightfall, and then introduce yourself to the aged man as a fellow collector of artifacts. Then you will offer him this brooch, and if all goes well, he will offer you a quarter for the night to negotiate in the morning. Then it's all a matter of timing. Sneak out of your room, look for the word of the dead, and teleport the Pyrean to you. A good question, but no. The aged man is special, so to speak. Even the Lightborn ordered us to let him live in peace. Mm. The Black Guardian yeah, knows why. Stuff. So, if we have to trick him, we will at least do it inconspicuously. Which is why you and the mercenary are well suited for the task. No one will connect your faces to the Holy Order. Then you'll flee. There must be no violence, no matter what happens. Archmagister? Yes, well, that is a good point. We don't know, because we don't even know what the artifact looks like. But, how goes the thing? The proof of the eating is in the pudding. Uh -huh. We'll manage somehow. And even if we don't, it definitely sounds like an adventure. It's a great responsibility, be aware of that. But I have faith in both of you. 
Now get going as soon as you can. This mission will be fruitful. I can feel it. Whew. And there they go. Mm. Yep, just meet me at the Myrids Tower at the Western Cliff. I'll go grab my stuff now. Jaha. Jäätynyt kaveri on tossa. Joo, mielenkiintoinen. Prophetess. Pathlessness, wherever you look. Where? What? Menee, menee jatkuvasti odommaksi ja odommaksi. Tää on jees. Hmm. 